Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, sisters. Hey, bros. <laughs> hey, sisters. <laughs> Currently on our way to Longley. I've been years ago, but I have not been recently, so I don't know what it's like. And I'm quite excited for this journey. So we did set off this journey in two separate cars um, and the first thing we did was get hot chocolate. So as you're going through the safari the first thing you pass is the car park and then you get to this 400 year old building. At this point this is where we enter the safari and uh, the lady just kind of makes sure you haven't got any other animals in your car. So when you first enter, you see the Rothschild giraffes. Now this bit, you have to be really careful because actually we missed it. You can actually get out here and you can actually go. So after this, we approach the ostriches. Uh, ostriches are the world's largest and heaviest birds, so they're a bit scary. They literally walk right past your car, which is a bit cool, not gonna lie. And I just wanted to give you a better view of the African village part of the safari. This is kind of how the giraffes and the zebras are. You kind of go straight in and then you do kind of just get hit with it quickly. So you definitely make sure you park up straight away. So then you go through to Flamingo Valley where you obviously see flamingos. Um, and then after Flamingo Valley you have the wild bongos which come just before monkey mayhem. And this is obviously the most exciting part, which everyone loves. It's monkey mayhem. It's full of rhesus monkeys just literally roaming around and jumping all over the So cars. as we drive through, you will start to sort of see the rhesus macaque running around. The whole troop at Longley is led by a dominant male, which they call Phil. Yeah, there's about 130 odd macaques running around, so it's quite crazy here. Whilst I was going through here, I did actually get a better view of the giraffes kind of walking around and I just thought it looked so pretty. Just for a better insight, there's some videos from both cars. So yeah, if you get confused, they're just from both different cars. Obviously I was in my own and my sister was with her husband. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? What? Are you alright? Just because of the car you're paying. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Just don't leave with more little monkeys than you came with. Let's just check. Is there three of us? Hey, I was already here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Don't blame me. He's coming, he's coming. <laughs> about this area I'd say is knowing whether the monkeys are under your car or whether they've gotten off your car you have to be really careful you have to drive really carefully so that was a bit scary <laughs> So 
unfortunately, and the infant was actually inside her haven. So we couldn't actually get a good image of her, we could kind of just see her inside. After and the elephant, you should be able to see some camels just resting there behind. They weren't really walking. You will eventually reach the southern white rhino house where you'll see a small population of rhinos. Longley are also part of a captive breeding program for these rhinos too. Now these breeding programs that Longley are a part of is happening for a number of the species that they have in the Safari Park and it's actually quite amazing. So it's all part of their conservation effort to prevent these animals from becoming extinct. Now we're reaching the big cats part of the safari. You can see the warning signs because there will be lions and tigers roaming around. So be wary. As you enter the big cats area of the safari, you'll first see tigers. What is pretty magnificent about this is that all the tigers aren't actually encapsulated in a cage. They are actually roaming free. Now, in these videos, we will see they're kind of laying down, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe it was around feeding time or something like that. I'm not too sure, but they were free to kind of roam around if they wanted to and come to those parts, but this is nothing really stopping them. So then you'll see this tiger, which I managed to capture. He was kind of just walking up and down, trying to find a way out. I don't know if he was trying to get towards us or what, but you know, I don't know if they just keep certain tigers away and certain ones out. I'm not really sure how it works, but this one was kind of pacing up and down, following us. Here you'll see there are about four or five female lions and then there is a male and he seems to be laying down whilst all the females are out there watching for him. Quite cool actually, it's like you can kind of see what's really happening out there in the world like right in front of you. <laughs> behind a fence but these three that seem to be sleeping were actually just out in the open so again I don't know if it was their sleeping time obviously we went around 10 so between 10 to 1 and most of the wilder animals like the cats the big cats were actually sleeping so I would say that's something to be wary of but yeah again these are just in an open space we got very close to them there was actually these little safari trucks with probably the um, safari keepers for each animal kind of near them. Then after the lions, I'm pretty sure there was hyenas, but we didn't really capture the hyenas, they were quite hidden. And then we saw wolves, so the wolves were also kind of laying down. There was actually also a cheetah, which we kind of missed. Um, but yeah, once we were done with the actual safari, we got out and we were able to walk around. And then we started to see like baby otters, mini cats, just kind of the small animals. The otters are actually called Asian short clawed otters and we find them in the jungle kingdom part. 
um, of the safari park, obviously not in the safari, but once you get out of the safari there are things you can do um, just there at the park. As you pass here you go through Monkey Temple and you get to Koala Creek where you meet some of the koalas and this was actually the most gorgeous little atmosphere the trees, the backdrop, everything is just so cute I can't really explain it it looks even better in person uh, this is how koalas sleep they actually just hug the tree not even hugging, they're kind of just sitting there all curled up and you'll also find Maisie, one of the koalas just eating her way Ooh. So after we saw some birds we came to the turtle area and oh my gosh this little turtle was just poking his little hand through and then there is also a meerkat enclosure um, and there's just a load of meerkats kind of just running around some of them just carry under your feet as well because they can just literally squeeze through the little bars it's quite cute so up here there's actually a red panda which seems to be lurking around the safari park and then you get to the animals There were sort of two boats that were going in and out and obviously they were also following social distancing measures so they were leaving kind of two metres between each family or group of people. Once you've seen Sonia or spot the hippos, you will reach the gorilla sanctuary. The safari park guide on the boat who kind of was feeding them so they were going a bit wild. You can literally hear them from the other side of the park. I'm not even joking. the end there is a beautiful little garden before you come out this is us making a wish so that is it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you did please do like comment share and subscribe to our channel we'll be back with more videos